So I'm on the uh, BJJ Fanatics website, and I see three new videos by some guy named Thomas Radzinski. Uh, are you familiar with that guy at all? Nope, absolutely not. No? Well, he's got some good stuff. Three new, three brand new videos. Um, they're getting amazing reviews, which is good to see as well. Uh, but you got to tell us about them real quick? Yeah. You know, I had yeah, you guys already know, but I had the um, opportunity to go to Boston, shoot three more instructionals, one on Butterfly Hook, complete guide for Butterfly Hook, to um, wrap, lapel, and submit them. And three, we have uh, taking the back. It's particularly designed for guys for over 40 because there is no climbing involved. All the back days are on the ground. Uh, very, very full and effective system. So dip into it. I'm really hoping that this is going to help your jiu-jitsu and really take it to the next level. BJJFanatics.com. Just search R-O-Z-D-Z. We have all had that situation where after class is when we want to ask a question. And uh, Thomas, a lot of those questions you've already answered, right, at Ask a Black Belt. Yeah, it's another podcast that I'm running. Um, it, it, you know, it's on podcasts, all podcast platforms, plus on, on YouTube. You can find it anywhere. Just search for my name. Search, search for Ask a Black Belt. At this point, over 100 episodes, different questions, jujitsu, life-related, but something that everybody comes across, and often these questions sink in our mind, but we don't ask for whatever reason. So... If that benefits you, go there, listen. It actually might help your jujitsu, might help your life as well. And if you have any questions, find me on Instagram and drop me a line. I'll be happy to answer your question and mention your name during the episode. Welcome to Raw Radio. Here we go. I do feel like you're struggling. I'm not struggling. You're the one that's struggling. I, I'm fine. How am I struggling? You're Because you're the one that's bringing it up and smiling in that uncomfortable smile. I've adapted to the situation. I'm fine with it. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Nice segue. Nice segue. Nice segue. I, I got I to gotta give it to you. You'll play the nice. But wait a minute. What What is a weird smile that I have? Maybe it's the vibe I get from you. It's like this. I have a vibe it's, that it's I give like, out. Yeah, you're you're it's an you're annoyed and you're smiling through your annoyance is is what I gain from. Well, for, first of all, I'm not annoyed, but I I, I want to talk about this. Like, how am I annoyed? What do I because do when I'm annoyed? Going correctly, and you get all animated, and fired up, and then you're like, <laughs> then you you project your feelings yeah. onto the other person. That person is annoyed. That person is struggling. I'm fine with it. Things aren't going right. I'm okay. I'm not struggling. How am I projecting it? Right now, you're attacking me. Feel attacked. <laughs> you feel attacked. Over. Yeah. You feel it. Yeah. You're, it's always like you're grumpy. Uh, you're struggling. You're having issues today. I'm fine. <laughs> it's, it's all good. Are you saying that you're not having issues? No, I wasn't. You, you were not saying that or you didn't have issues? I personally, <laughs> the system that we have set up here had issues. There was an echo. Oh, right. Let's, let's, my fault. let's blame on electronics. I love it. I don't know. The microphone little, was a I little crossed out. A little <laughs> bar across it. Whose microphone? Mine. Oh. And, so it's not your fault. It's the microphone's fault. No, it's this. Uh, it's the technology wasn't working the way it was supposed to. You saw it. You got up out of your seat. Traveled all the way over to this side <laughs> I didn't, and looked what? and was and saw it was muted. What I, I thought, unmuted it and told you to go back and mute it, and then it worked. So just, what it tells me is that I cannot mute myself. You have to do it. This is classic. That's, I'm glad you guys are witnessing this because this is this is literally every single day. This is our bonding every between Gary day, and I every single day. You attack me for things that are not my fault, and I've learned to. Just adopt. Like <laughs> I'm fine with it. All right, so we're talking about oh, adopting. That's a great episode. Yeah. I mean, it's <laughs> good. How many minutes are we in? Only two and a half. <laughs> so, Rodrigo, mm -hmm. pizza and sushi. Pizza and sushi. Talk about Delicious. adapting. Yeah. I, no, like, <laughs> I love pizza. I love sushi. Could you eat pizza and sushi at the same time? 
I probably could figure out a way to do it. <laughs> it would have to be the right sushi. It would have to be the right pizza. But I think I don't. Now we're not talking about putting them together, right? We're not having a pizza. With no, I'm sushi. thinking like bite of pizza and bite of put yeah. sushi, like one yeah. after the other. Who slipped up there and said something? Uh, <laughs> um, do you do it like is your sushi an appetizer, or is it no? Right Eat there, sushi as appetizer. Well, something it is. So, do you have a plate with a couple pieces of sushi, a is bowl that... or something, and then and then a slice of pizza next to it, <laughs> or do you have like the pizza still in the oven? So you guys are eating sushi as your appetizer, and then the pizza comes in. There's oh my god! <laughs> I think what's really this, important. This episode is <laughs> think, going down. <laughs> I think what's really important is that Onishi. Uh, and why we're talking about this was it, it's a guy that he's half Italian, half Japanese, lives up in Brazil, has taught jujitsu all over the world. Right now he's in the UAE uh, and uh, has obviously adapted to all these different situations and, and uh, become a great success in each and every one of them. Uh, even when he was, he became a very successful uh, jujitsu competitor when he wasn't supposed to be training. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, when his mom said he couldn't do jujitsu, so he was sneaking off to do it, right? He adapted, uh, which I think is cool. I think it's amazing when people can, um, make it work. Yeah. Make it work for the better, uh, and figure out a way to do it. And, um, you know, now if he was doing jujitsu and out getting in trouble, um, mom would have had a different reaction, right? But he was doing what he was supposed to be doing in life, uh, plus jujitsu. Um, so I think, uh, yeah, like whenever you're doing these things that, um, there's obstacles thrown in your way and you figure out a way around it. And it's not just, I'm not talking about like just overcoming a challenge, Mm -hmm. you know, there's, there has, it's a bigger situation than that. You have to really think it through and figure things out. Um, I think it's amazing. I think it's a great story all, all, all around and, you know, having ability to adapt to your surroundings is, is huge. Good job. Just a few minutes ago, mm-hmm. you, did, you did well. No problem. <laughs> It'll happen again. But is today. but isn't isn't that what jujitsu is all about? Yeah, adapting to the surroundings, adapting to the situations that we find ourselves in, and really oh. solving and troubleshooting the problem, and and trying to figure out the best outcome to the situation that you know we are in at this particular point of time. Yeah, and I think he, he even took it a little deeper than that, where it's not like in in the moment on the mat. He he is adapt. How does he adapt jujitsu for you? Um, right. You know, because he was talking about like everybody's different body type, everybody's yeah. different athleticism, everybody's different. You know, all these things that you bring to the table, um, where things might not work for you, right? And it, so, and instead of trying to force it, like you know, that square peg through the round hole. It's like, okay, no, we need to change and adapt for you so that jujitsu does work for you. So not the particular technique, but jujitsu as a whole. How do we make it work for you? And, um, I, you know, that, that taking it to that level for your students, uh, I think is amazing because um, a lot of people can come in and teach a class and look at that person who isn't getting it, who can't physically do it, and kind of just brush them off, you know? Um, but no, he wants to make sure that that person can succeed. So like two, two different paths or two different objectives here. One troubleshooting the situations we find ourselves in, or the deeper one that you just mentioned is more of adapting jujitsu itself to what works for you best. Mm -hmm. And that's often referred to as interpretation, right? Like it's our instructor shows us, shows us ABC, but how do we adapt this ABC into what we are trying to, or what we are capable of doing this? And that's physically and mentally too, because like physical limitations or physical attributes, that's one component, but we all think differently too, right? I mean, we have people who you know, stimulate it visually and people who love repetitions, other love listening and the auditory um, um, auditory processors, right? So it's it, everybody processes different information differently. And then, what is being presented, we still have to not only hear it, receive it, but then process it and file it away with an ability to to pull it out at a given time and then use it. Right. 
Yeah, it's. I mean, it's super. Us humans, we are complicated. We are complicated. Yeah, uh, jujitsu is is complex. Isn't mm-hmm. you know? There's a lot of layers. There's a lot to dig through. There's a lot to unpack. Um, mm-hmm. I think you know what you just said. Um, and then you have the the mental aspect of what goes along with that. Is it frustrating to you? Is it a puzzle that you want to solve? Mm-hmm. You know, or is it I can't? For there's self doubt that comes in, mm-hmm. uh, all that stuff. And if you don't adapt all of that or to all of that, um, you know, then those, those negative thoughts start creeping in. Yeah. uh, And you can't beat them back and and they take over and quit. Well, yeah. I mean, that, that's part of it, right? Do you think that jujitsu as a learning curve is any different than learning swimming or learning how to skateboard? Um, I think the, and I'm not referring to the steps themselves or the jujitsu itself, but the learning of it. I, I, I think that the when you're learning something else, you're kind of conquering um, an inanimate object. It's not something that's fighting you constantly. It's not something that is resisting you um, and adapting to what you're doing, right? So I think it might be a little harder in some ways. If you're trying to, I don't know, pull a, a, a trick off in skateboarding, um, you're trying to, you know, I'll pick something that I'll never do, but like you're trying to grind a rail, that rail isn't moving while you're trying to do it. It's not trying to get out of your way or get on top of you. Where in jujitsu, when you're trying to pass the guard or submit somebody, well, that person is trying to prevent you from passing the guard. Um, The only thing in those other things that is stopping you from doing it is um, dedication and technique. I don't think the mental aspect comes into it quite as much. Um, I could be wrong. I mean, you have to be determined. You have to try things tons of times. You have to get hurt a bunch of times. Um, so I'm not saying that it's easy by any means. I'm just saying that there's another, um, different dimension. Definitely. Yeah. Right. right? Because there's yeah. your, your opponent or your partner is making his own decisions while you are trying to make yours. Right. Yeah. That's what you are saying. Yeah. Versus- there's no real opponent. It's, it's an inanimate object or it's something that you need to get coordinated enough to do. Um, you need that in jujitsu plus. But listen to this. So I recently had a conversation with actually one of the guys here who is a big golfer. And, you know, I know nothing about golf. I, I don't understand the sport. I was the first one to admit it. Um, but one of the comments I made to him is that golf is a very individual sport meaning you compete against yourself and see and he made a comment that a lot of people misunderstand golf in that sense because golf it is actually a competition against other things they are just not humans you compete with weather you compete with the wind you compete with with moisture and I, again mm-hmm. don't quote me on this because i have nothing i know nothing about golf but in that same sense when you take the skateboarding as a as a as an example are you really not competing with anybody or are you competing with other things? Like, is that rail slippery? Is the sli- rail round or squared? Or like, I, I don't know. And again, I know yeah, but nothing about it. It's not going to go from squared to round right. while you're trying something. Right, right, right. Your right. partner is, right? Your partner is going to be actively moving, yeah. actively countering. Um, there's nothing, you know, golf, yeah, is the wind countering you? It can be, absolutely. But you, you, unless the weather conditions are crazy, you know which way it's blowing. Um, you know, um, there's, it gets, it, we can get in the weeds on different individual sports or activities, um, but I, I don't think there's as much resistance physically, mentally, um, in a lot of other things. I think what you're trying to say is essentially when there's two humans involved, there's two different objectives that are happening at the same time. Yeah. And there's only yeah, one there humans, yeah. one human involved. There is only one path. Yeah. And as, as windy as it is out there, when you're hitting a golf ball, the wind isn't seeking out making your ball go in a right. particular direction. Right. You know, it's not actively against you. Yeah. Um, I mean, valid points. Valid points. You sound smart today, but I think this is, this is part of the adaptation, right? You really understanding what your surroundings are, mm-hmm. right? Like understanding who you're, who your quote unquote opponent is yes. or your partner, right? Yeah. Because well, that, yeah. yep. it, it could be the nature or it could be actual human being making their own decisions, right? Mm-hmm. And then, you know, it all 
could really change based on what is happening around us. But unless we really acknowledge what it is happening around us, we really can't create a plan to execute any of it, right? Yeah, there's, I mean, you do have to adapt in these other things, but I, it's just, like you said, it's not another person. It's not, yeah. you know, um, another individual who has a separate set of um, objectives, right? So, yeah, uh, but, you know, I think if you adapt to anything, um, it teaches you to adapt to other things. And I think that's what a lot of people talk about in jujitsu, how it changes lives and things like that is how it, it helps you being able to adapt on the mat makes you realize that you can adapt you can adapt to things you can change things you can overcome things um and then you carry that over to your other activities in your life you know um so yeah i have lots of good thoughts yep. good i appreciate you dropping some knowledge that's good that's awesome nice hoodie by the way yeah thanks I, I was told it's generic because it says the gentle art and everybody says that and i won't say that edgar's the one who told me that <laughs> That wasn't even smooth. <laughs> it wasn't meant to be. Um, but I mean, it's got that awesome. It's got awesome writing down the sleeve. It's pretty sweet. Are we pushing this again? I, I you are. I well, just, I, it up. I gave you a I compliment. Yeah. Oh, you, you don't know. Give me a compliment on the hoodie you're selling, so I have to pretend I'm going to be a spokesman. It's lightweight, uh, so it's great, like springtime hoodie. Uh, beautiful, like charcoaly color. Uh, get yours. Allacademy.com. Click on store. <laughs> Just in time for Christmas. I'm oh. not going to say anything because I'm going to get accused of pushing my feelings onto you or something. Oh, you're attacking me. <laughs> there See? you go. <laughs> you, you brought this up, and then I'm trying to help you out with it, and you're attacking me. So, there you go. Gonna, there you go. Yeah. Hit the button. I'm going to hit that red button over there. And <laughs> have to change my day. Here we go. <laughs> Later. <laughs> Thank you for listening to Raw Radio. If you enjoyed the show, don't forget to leave us a review and help us make the show even more amazing. For future episodes, check out our website and follow us on all major podcast platforms. Take care.